All right, what is up, guys? Because always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi Val Mr. Mind Week versus TMCC from Reddit, and I hope to see a really good team. Yeah, Mono Water, nice. Uh, well done, man. Well done. And you know, considering that I don't have, uh, wow, this is going to be problematic, isn't it? I don't have an electric type, which by default makes this a lot tougher. But just looking at it, um, <laughs> this could be, uh, this could be kind of rough. I do like leading off with um, Aghanim, my Mr. Mime. I think he can do a lot of stuff well. But I mean, depending on what Pelipa and Kingdra is, there are situations here that are going to ruin me naturally. And that, uh, I don't want experience in that. So anyway, to my opponent, TMCC, um, good luck, have fun. Real like, like, I like when I construct a team that has a flaw and I face that flaw. Like, I don't have a proper grass type, nor, or, I mean, I have, um, oh, Stami, nice. It, it's not the worst first matchup, unless he has Meteor Beam. Bring it, Mr. Mime! Fucking do it. And we do have Charge Beam, so that can, uh, it's not the worst experience I got. That's, I mean, it's Technician boosted. I really badly wanted to, to see Pelipper coming in. All right, let's see. We do have speed, which is kind of nice. Uh, which probably means this is some type of analytic set. And um, oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. that's actually kind of grander. That's <laughs> that's vastly more impressive. All right, so if I were him, I probably switch in seismitoad here. Definitely not sacking this scenario. Um, oh, he's sacking this scenario. Well, is he dazzling gleam will do enough? Huh? Kind of pushing it there, but I like it. All the same. Um, what do we even do versus Seismitoto? Trick room. I don't like Agron is my slowest man. I guess we can kind of not work at all. Jesus Christ. Araquanid is probably a serious been an offensive beast of a man, really. Um, I don't soak water. <laughs> soak that dress. Let's do this. Ooh, it, it's not a solid switch in here. Liquidation will still do a lot. I'm not defensive. I'm just just taking resisted hits. Poison jab. Yeah, we can take those. <sighs> just not that well. Um, I like the concept of scaring him out with a hurricane. At least we soak the hits. Keeps poison jabbing, which is fine, I guess. Re not really. Hurricane, of course. Of course not. Let's try that one more time. Oh. You know what would have been nice now? Not getting a crit? Fuck me, right. So Trick Room is over. <laughs> what did I just experience? <laughs> Alright. Um, head Smash. I know Seismitoad is an option to come in, but at this point, I don't care. I simply could not. I don't like Seismitoad at all. You know what, I was kind of hoping Trick Room would work against him, but Raquinet is just awfully slow. So it kind of worked for him. Oh, we connect that one. So that's a dead Raquinet. Kind of like that. Just Agron. Doing Agron stuff. Worst mouth of this matchup is doing things. Exactly how I wanted it. <sighs> Kinda regret not being sturdy though with Pelipper and whatnot. Can Pelipper Skull kill me? Or Witterball? Probably should. I'm not feeling like confident standing that much. And considering my lack of resistances to it. <sighs> you got jungle healing. <laughs> I mean, Hurricane is alright. Aghanim is not gonna take anything well. However, if somebody's gonna take something, it's going to be Aghanim. You could feel it in the air. Come on. Hit me. It's gonna do a good chunk anyway, isn't it? I'm still a Mr. Mime. Yeah, oof. So, ideally, I wanna go for a charge beam. 
because of the months that follows. I know Seismator is most solid switching. He efficiently sacks it? No? It is a salt vest? That actually was miss. No, it's a hurricane. That's not happening. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> no! Um. Okay, I gotta do this. He is not risking the Pelipper. Brings in Seismito, Mr. Mime, Aghanim, my man, the man of the week, first game. Don't fuck it up. Yes! Mr. Mime! Oh, and it's doing a good chunk too. <laughs> so now it's all about managing the hits. Uh, Bakhtar, you're up. I mean, as long as Stealth Frog isn't hit in the field, I think we're kind of fine. Never been more, like, stressed out by a scenario like this. Oh my god. Is that Life Orb? Very much so, yes. I got jungle healing. I got jungle healing. <laughs> um, there is no way we're outspeeding, so... From a matchup perspective, what would make the most sense? Does this guy get... I think it gets Ice Punch, however. No, but sure as hell get... I did not expect to see Toxic, that's for sure. Then again, who would, right? Crazy people use Toxic. <laughs> Alright, good. He is out of the way. Uh, I'm on a timer, can't bulk up. Can't really... Oh, hail is over. So... Mr. Mime is slower in Kingdra, depending whether or not it is um, um, timid. But if it gets the rain up, then that won't necessarily matter. Pelipper comes back. And I am faster than a Pelipper. And I got jungle healing, so I don't care about talking. <laughs> I'm just gonna need to pull that off. Um, clearly, Dark is hilarious here, just to. Just to break Pelipper, I really just want to avoid as much power back on me as possible. Um, Alright, versus Kingdra. We got what? Four turns of absolute power. And as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure that if it is a special set of Kingdra, that um, I don't have a natural switching. Then again, who would? Yeah, here we go. I can only beat Kingdra outside of rain. Ooh, question is, I can only open Ice Beam and then I manage somehow to survive it to kind of pressure the matchup. Please don't Dynamax. Don't make me come in this scenario. I don't want to deal with it. Here we go, Ice Beam. We're gonna soak that. We're gonna absolutely. Oh. oh. Piece of shit. Nothing, bro. Nothing. Um, and, and, and by the way, of course, we die to um, to a surf or whatnot here, but I, I'm stalling turns. <laughs> no! I knew it! I fucking knew it! I saw the rise of this threat. I knew it was coming. I was thinking just maybe, maybe I would make or face something that was a bit more fair. I'm saying it like it would, oh fuck me, that does a lot. How much rain have we got left? I got no mods we can deal with this damage I put. Unless I Dynamax. Oh shit. Life finds a way. Let's see. Would be very good if. Yeah, two more turns of rain. I'm not overly worried, but I am worried. Um, close combat, of course. Um, 
I still died on Max Geisha because that's what you do. Um, I mean, the only way for me of winning is actually by retaliating. Uh, but considering the remaining matchup, I am sack playing through this. Um, Alright. Doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> Max Geisha! It's not pretty. It certainly isn't. Rain stop, Dynamax is over. And in my head, I only have two options. So I can't beat Cramorant in no other way. So, I, Dynamax, Socrates, I hope he does enough. And if he doesn't, uh, I would say that's fair. And then I'm gonna lead out whether or not them this guy is um water secondary effect, special defense that lowered. It's not gonna matter a whole lot, isn't it? I'd rather get the terrain! <laughs> but yeah, ending strat here. I hope the Kingra is modest. I don't believe I kill it with uh, a fully powered um shenanigans hit. I really don't. I hope it doesn't carry rain dance and circumvent. Anything I got, I'm glad he Dynamax one turn too early to not reset the rain. Um, but yeah, I mean, I should be able to outspeed and Max Overgrowth should do, if not killing, it should do a whole lot. Yeah, not killing. Which means the Ice Beam should probably kill. Uh, please don't. No, oh, we're actually kicking in. We got this! We got this! Mr. Mind Week is fully active! Even though I'm burning in pain! I got jungle healing! I got jungle healing! Piece of shit! Oh, come on! Don't tell me you're forfeiting now! You brought this part yourself! You and you alone. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a dandy time to be alive, really. Question is... Do I just want to try to wrap it up? I'm pretty sure that Cramorant actually managed to stomach a hit for me anyway. Mainly because it is a Cramorant and it's an awesome Pokemon and so underrated. Um, largely underrated if you ask me. <laughs> but yeah, Mr. Mime did the stuff I wanted to. Definitely did way more than I ever thought it could ever do. And while Zarud is the one wrapping up the game, uh, I'm still widely, widely impressed by Mr. Mime. I don't know whether or not it is un like people don't expect it to be good. I certainly didn't. Considering how it managed to survive <laughs> with a salt vest. Damn that special defense. 110. You know you know it gets proper bulk even though it has no HP. Anyway, the TMCC, thank for the game. Really, really close. Great time seeing Mono Water. And that I largely could not do anything about it. And with that said, thank you guys for watching and have a great day everyone. Take care.